Okay. So, we've got our enemy over here. That's going to follow this path and shoot at us if we get too near. We've got our unlockable island over here. Um, with our invisible factory that's going to disappear once we've collected um, some coins. Next thing I thought would be good to do is create some characters that spawn, some enemies that are going to spawn and they're going to shoot at us. Um, to do that we're going to do something, we're going to create something called a creatable um, and this is how you're going to do it. First of all let's add an object that we would like to have spawn. So we're going to choose a cannon. What you can do is if you right click on your object, change settings, you can set it down here, oh, there we go, to creatable. If I press escape, and he's glowing, which means he is now a creatable. So if I press escape to play the game, he's invisible. You can't see him. So let's think about what we'd like him to do. So I'm going to add some programming to him. What I want him to do is just wander around, basically. So I'm going to go to more up here, always do, move, and he's just going to wander around. Wander around aimlessly. Um, what we could do is we could change it so when he sees you, he follows you, but I want to try and make it a little bit more simple. So when he's wandering around, when he gets too close to us, he's going to shoot at us. So we're going to say when he sees cycle, which is me, he's going to shoot a missile. But what I need to add, I don't want to do it all the time, is this plus here, and we're going to add an option close by. So if I get too close to him, or he gets too close to me, he's going to shoot me. When he does shoot me, he is going to inflict some damage on me. So when the shot has hit the cycle, do combat damage, and he's going to take off I don't know, five points of damage. So, that's, that's his program. So where's he going to spawn from? Because now we've created him, we need to um, decide where he's going to spawn. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to place a rock over here. Now where are rocks? Rock here. And I'm going to make it... Oop, I'm going to make it... Change the settings and make it invisible. Down here, invisible. So no one can see it. There he is, he disappeared. And I'm going to put another one here as well. Now, what I could do is put another rock and have a programming, but I'm actually just going to do the programming on this rock here and then copy and paste that rock. So here we go. So, right click, program. What I'm going to do is, after a certain amount of time, the um, cannon that I've just created is going to spawn and it's going to have a wander around. So I can say, when, timer, so let's think about how long we want it to be. It's, let's say after 10 seconds, timer after 10 seconds, do, and we can say, action, create, what we're going to create. Now, this is new. Because we've got one creatable, we can click on that. And there he is, there's a cannon. So after 10 seconds, it's going to create one cannon. So there we go. So if we wait 10 seconds, hopefully, I can wander around here. Now, obviously, the rock's disappeared. There he is. Ah, I got too close to him, and he's destroyed me. There we go. So. What I'm going to do is I want another one of those. I'm going to highlight this, right click, copy, and then I'm going to paste another one over here. Paste. There we go. So if I, again, right click, look at the program, and it's exactly the same. What I'm going to do is I'm going to alter this slightly. So this one spawns um, after 15 seconds. There we go. Um, so let's have a bit of a play around with this. So I'm going to move around. Oh, got too close to him. I'm going to fire. Oh, not doing a great job of firing in the right direction. 
So there's my first create spot. So he spawns there out. 15 seconds later, there's the other one. That's how you do it. Of course, you can um, create other things. It doesn't have to be um, a spawned. I could add a program to my factory over here that. Um, let's delete that. I don't need that. Um, so I can say when, after 20 seconds, I'm going to create a heart, for instance. There we go. And that'll create a heart. And we're good to go. Or I can instead of create, I could choose where is it? Uh, launch, and I can launch a heart. And um, there we go. Have fun. Thank you very much.